What's going on guys? My name is Suboptimal. Today I want to talk about Orbital, which is a side project that I've been working on for the past two months. Orbital is an open source, local first video file browser built with React, TypeScript, Tailwind, and Electron. It helps you efficiently search, preview, and view video files on your computer. And I made Orbital to help editors, creators, YouTubers, and anyone else who stores a lot of media files. And so in this video, I wanted to sort of show the demo of the project. And it is available for purchase on Gumroad for about $10. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is to open a folder. And I'm gonna to go to my desktop and select the videos folder. The videos folder contains two subfolders, OBS and YouTube. So let me go back here and select videos. As soon as I do that, we're going to load all the media files from videos. So as you can see here, it shows that the root directory is videos. And so this specific file is under uh, videos, OBS, atomic edits, and then this is the 0.2 MP4 file. I'm going to start scrolling down and it's going to load more and more videos. You can also see the length of the video right over here. And you're also going to notice that as I hover over a video, we're going to be able to preview the video itself. Now, another key feature is going to be the ability to search through all your media files. So here, um, say I wanted to search for PNG files inside of this uh, entire subdirectory, I could just start typing p.png and there you go, you got all of my PNG files. Now, say I wanted to search for videos inside of my YouTube directory, I can start with forward slash yt that's going to display everything with youtube and then say i wanted to you know find the tech talks that i've done before so tt stands for tech talk that's sort of how i named my files and you can see here that i can sort of preview them click through them and then watch the videos as well so the final example that i want to showcase here is being able to uh, drag and drop these files into different apps. So I've got my tech top 01 uh, YouTube file over here. Let's just say I wanted to move that into iMovie. I can just drag it and drop it and it's going to get dropped into iMovies. And of course, we can't forget about the most useful functionality here, which is the color scheme. So you can change between Groovebox, Dracula and light color theme. And you know, you'll notice that the scroll bar here is pink for Dracula. And of course, if you go to light and you want to sort of destroy your eyes, then you can do that as well and yeah that's about it